Hello friends, welcome back to Electronic Circuit Hub after a long time. So today I'm going to show you design and simulation of two stays EMI filter by using LT Spice. So we are going to understand how you're going to design and simulate the two stays EMI filter with the help of LT Spice. Then, I, then later I'm going to run the AC analysis and I'm going to show you the corner frequency and the decade at the corner frequency. So let us understand first how you're going to design the circuit, how you're going to calculate the value of corner frequency or the value of cutoff frequency, right? So if you look at the image starting from the left side here, we have the AC voltage source that is AC voltage source. So I define this as if I right click on here, this is the amplitude AC amplitude A and the, with the phase of 10 I consider. So this is your AC voltage source in order to run the AC analysis. If you don't consider this as a AC voltage source, your AC analysis is not going to work. Right. Then we have the first order filter here, first stage of the filter. Okay, in the first stage of the filter, we have the value of L1, which is 1 millihenry, and the value of C1, which is 1 microhenry. And if you calculate the corner frequency, if you calculate the corner frequency or cutoff frequency for this first stage LC filter, so it is FC1, this call it as FC1 equals to 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L1 multiplied by CP. Wherein the value of CP here, if you look at the value of CP is equal to C1 plus C2. Okay, so if you look at C1 and C2, both are connected in the parallel, so the equivalent capacitance is given by the cp and the value of the value of cp equals to the value of c1 plus the value of c2 okay the value of c2 so if you do math here you will find the corner frequency if you have l1 1 millihenry c1 1 microhenry the corner frequency here is 7 kilohertz value of l1 is 1 microhenry c1 is 1 microfarad l2 is 10 microhenry and c2 is 470 nanofarad and if you place the value l1 here c1 here and uh, with the help of c2 we can find the equivalent capacitance that is cp and and if you now if you now put the value of l1 and c cp you will get the corner frequency. In this case, my first corner frequency is 7.34 kilohertz. This is my first corner frequency and this is my FC2, which is the second corner frequency, which is 89 kilohertz, 89 kilohertz. Now, this is the first stage of your filter. First stage of your filter consists of L1 and C1. The corner frequency is 7 kilohertz. Now, if you look at the second stage of the filter, that means the value of L2 is 10 microhenry and the value of C2 is 470 nanofarad. Okay, so if you again calculate the if you again calculate the second corner frequency, which is given by 1 divided by 2 pi square root of L2 into Cs, and if you look at this side, this side c1 cs is now connected in series with c1 cs equals to 1 divided by 1 divided by c1 plus 1 divided by c2 and uh, if you do the math and if you find the equivalent series capacitance that is cs is the value of this in farad in the farad and if i calculate the fc2 the value of fc2 second cut of frequency which is given by 89 kilohertz so what is your first corner frequency the first corner frequency is 7.3 kilohertz and uh, the second corner frequency is 89 kilohertz so that is the i i did the calculation and i found the value like this right now what is if you look at the input side the left side here this is 
let us consider this is dut device under test okay this is dut that is device under test and then we have the second stage of the filter and the right side is considered as the lisn that is line impedance stabilization network that is lisn the impedance of this lisn is 100 ohm i consider and uh, then i ran the simulation i ran the ac analysis and now let us see how you're gonna run the ac analysis and what is the behavior of your filter okay so this first stage filter l1 and lc have the role of 40 db per decade and the c2 and l2 having the role of r role of 80 db per decade okay so now if you want to run the ac analysis go at the simulate once you go at the simulate edit simulation command okay edit simulation command and we want to run the ac analysis this is very important to understand don't forget we want to run the ac analysis so the type of sweep is decade number of points per decade is 200 start frequency is 1 kilohertz and stop frequency is 10 megahertz so start frequency is 1 kilohertz since my first corner frequency is 7.4 kilohertz so i kept my start frequency as a 1 kilohertz and stop frequency i kept as a 10 megahertz let us see what is the behavior of two stage filter in filter between the frequency of 1 kilohertz to 10 megahertz okay so just click on ok once you click on ok you will you, you will have to go on this button this is called run button and uh, click here once you click here you will see the waveform window okay now let me let me look at the waveform after the after the two stays so let me look at the waveform somewhere here okay and that is how it looks like that is how it looks like let me change the color for now so if you look at now the waveform the ac analysis of your emi filter the filter you design how it behaves so if i add one cursor here let's add the cursor first and uh, this is my cursor and if i move this cursor here okay if i move this cursor here this cursor says shows that the the let me add two cursor let's see what happens let us add both cursor first and second cursor and uh, what i want to hear is i want to have the 40 db per decade the magnitude this phase this magnitude this frequency this cursor one and uh, cursor two and uh, let us say we want to have the decay of this is the 40 db and what is changing here uh, 40 db 40 db per decade magnitude is 31 31 31 db it's not changing so for magnitude we have to use this cursor and this is changing now this is changing this is changing this is cursor 2 and changing here and uh, 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 uh magnitude where is magnitude and which is the 40 db okay let's remove two cursor let's focus on single cursor so if you look at here at the resonance at this point we have the frequency of 4.195 kilohertz okay so but the calculated calculated uh calculated cutoff frequency was 7.4 but here we see the frequency is around 4 kilohertz frequency is 4 kilohertz and from this point here somewhere we have the 30 db and uh, 30 to 0 30 db decade and here somewhere here we should get at 40 db per decade and we should get the frequency of around 9 7 kilohertz okay if you look at now the frequency here somewhere we are getting 7 kilohertz 7.4 okay so this is basically nothing but minus 40 db per decade roll off if you look at now at minus 40 db per decade roll off we have the frequency of 7.4 uh, 
now if you look at the second second uh, corner frequency so this is our second corner frequency and clearly if you see 89.9 more or less 89.9 so what do you see here is what do you see at the second corner frequency you have the exact cutoff or ex exact cutoff or roll off at 89.1 89.1 means the simulate the calculated value here fc2 is 89 and uh, during the simulation we found that in the waveform after running the ac analysis we found that it is 89.1 so more or less the second cutoff frequency is matching what you can see here as per the theoretical calculated value but the first cutoff frequency is not matching it should be ideally 7.4 kilohertz but it is 4.3.4 kilohertz we don't have here the 7.3 kilohertz it's around 4.1 4.2 kilohertz but the second corner frequency if you look at he at the second corner frequency which is 89 kilohertz we see the resonance at 89 kilohertz so after the first corner frequency we have the roll of roll of a minus 40 degrees uh, 40 db per decade and after the second corner frequency second corner frequency at 89 kilohertz we have the roll of minus 80 db per decade the role of minus 80 db per decade that is how guys you can design you can design and you can simulate the two stage emi filter based on your design requirement based on your circuit needs you can design you can simulate and based on your cutoff frequency because in this case we have the cutoff frequency of let's say 7.4 kilohertz and 89 kilohertz but Based on your cutoff frequency, you can design the two stage EMI filter which is going to give you the higher attenuation. Let's say in this case we are getting the attenuation of 80 dB per decade. 80 dB per decade. So I measure the waveform at this node here. Let me measure the waveform at this node as well. So how it looks like. Let's see. So tile window vertically and this time I measure the waveform at this point. If you look at here this point nothing is change and if i measure the waveform at this point it is going to change like this so what is the frequency the frequency here i see is 4.3 here around 4.1 4.2 4.3 and uh, this is again 89 this is again 89 so this is the roll off that is how you see at let's say this is no node number 1 or node a this point and this point is node b or node number two so that is how you can design you can simulate two stage emi filter two stage emi filter for your application okay if you have any doubts on the simulation part feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video